An enlarged brain network may predict depression. What if we could predict depression before it ever takes hold? A new breakthrough in neuroscience might have just brought us one step closer. In a new study, researchers highlight a striking discovery. Individuals with depression consistently show an enlarged salience network, a system in the brain responsible for processing what matters most. This isn't just a byproduct of mood or medication. It's stable, it predates symptoms, and it could be our first true biomarker for depression risk. The salience network, which includes the frontoinsular cortex, amygdala, anterior cingulate cortex, and temporal poles, helps your brain decide what to focus on, what's dangerous, what's rewarding, and what demands your attention. In people with depression, this network is functionally twice as large. That's not subtle. That's a neural fingerprint. What makes this especially powerful is that it opens the door for early intervention. If we can identify people before their first depressive episode, even before they feel any symptoms, we might be able to change the trajectory of the illness entirely. Less suffering, fewer relapses, better lives. So why is this happening? There are a few theories. Maybe it's genetic or a compensatory adaptation in an overloaded brain. Or maybe other brain regions are shrinking, making the salience network appear larger by comparison. Whatever the cause, it points to something we've suspected for years. Depression isn't just a chemical imbalance. It's a disorder of connectivity, a miscommunication between brain networks that regulate emotion, attention, and behavior. This research reframes how we think about treatment too. Antidepressants, psychedelics, even electroconvulsive therapy, all of them might work not just by boosting neurotransmitters, but by reshaping how brain networks like the salient system communicate. Future studies could track how the salience network changes with different interventions, helping us tailor treatments to individual patients. We're entering a new era where precision neuroscience could unlock personalized mental health care. And for the millions living with depression, that can't come soon enough. This video is based on the research paper, The Salience Network is Functionally Twice as Large in Depression, The First Depression Biomarker, by Katerina Palasek et al. in Genomic Psychiatry. What do you think about these findings? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.